Hello everyone. Welcome to the video on India's COVID vaccine, Covishield. Now, this is the BBC news of today's paper, Jan 3, 2021. It says India approves vaccines from Bharat Biotech and Oxford AstraZeneca one. Bharat Biotech is indigenously developed India's vaccine known as Covaxin, whereas Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine is known as Covishield. So this video, I am going to explain about this Covishield. In this video, we are going to see what all the approved vaccines till now to treat COVID-19 and Oxford vaccine, how it acts, what do you mean by efficacy and the Oxford vaccine efficacy. This is my channel wherein you find videos for pharma, medicine and physiotherapy students and I will be updating current technology uh, videos like these things. Now, the approved vaccines, till now the approved vaccines are from Pfizer company, Moderna and AstraZeneca. The Pfizer-BioNTech company vaccine, the technology is, it is a mRNA vaccine. The efficacy, it is of 95% efficacy. The problem is with storage, it needs minus 70 degrees storage and required doses, two doses has to be given. The good thing is, there is no serious side effects are found and the cost per dose is 20 to 30 American dollars. Similarly, the Moderna one, it is sponsored by American government. It is also an mRNA vaccine. It has shown efficacy of 94%. It has to be stored at minus 20 degrees and it has to be given two doses. And there are minor side effects like pain at injection site, fatigue and muscle pain. The cost is 30 to 40 dollars per dose. Now, the AstraZeneca one which is collaborated with Oxford University, the technology they used is a viral vector. A viral vector is carrying a DNA and that is, that, that is what acts as a vaccine. The efficacy is 70% and they said they may, it may go up to 90% too. Now the good thing is normal fridge temperature is required to store that vaccine. Again it has to be given two doses. No serious side effects were reported and the cost per dose is only three dollars. So these are all the two prime things which are which are uh, the leading good things like it can be stored at normal refrigerator and the cost is very low. Now this Oxford AstraZeneca company is collaborated with India's Serum Institute of India which is in Pune. Serum Institute of India is making 800 million vaccine doses and the agreement with India is out of 850 percent 400 million doses will be reserved for Indian population. Now this vaccine is known as Covishield. Now let us see how this vaccine acts, how this Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine works. Now this is a, this is a simplified uh, diagram of coronavirus. See coronavirus the important thing is on the surface it has got a protein known as spike protein. The reason why this spike protein is important is when coronavirus gets into human body, these spike proteins binds with human cells and gets into the cell. So that is the reason why these are important proteins. Now. The Oxford University developed a vaccine known as, a, the vaccine is made up of an adenovirus. DNA is present inside an adenovirus. See, adenovirus is a normal virus which will cause common cold in chimpanzees. Now, Oxford University has modified this adenovirus. The name of that adenovirus is CHADOX1. To this, a DNA is placed. Now, this DNA will produce a protein which will give spike proteins. So this is what is the setup of that vaccine is. Now let us see how it acts. Now when this vaccine is given, it gets into the cell. The adenovirus which is carrying DNA gets into the cell. Once it inside the cell, the external core is left outside and the DNA is released into human cell nucleus. The DNA will make mRNA and that mRNA will start making spike proteins. These spike proteins are of virus one because the mRNA contains, contains information that will synthesize proteins of viral spike proteins. Now these proteins are made inside the cell. Now these proteins are foreign proteins which are of not of human cell proteins. So what body does is it tries to break down the protein and expresses on its surface. See this is a common thing which happens in all the human cells. Whenever a microorganism, bacteria or virus gets into the cell, it gets into the cell, the, cell, the body will try to fight with it, breaks it down and expresses their proteins on the surface. This is how it happens. So similarly, the spike proteins also, uh, they are fragmented and they are expressed on the surface of the cell. After that, 
see the vaccinated cell on the surface you have got the spike proteins now antibodies will will be prepared how they are made with the help of helper t cells the b cell will express a surface proteins the surface proteins are nothing but antibodies these antibodies has got structural coplanarity with spike proteins so they have complementary shape with to bind with the spike proteins and they are released into circulation so they they are called as secreted antibodies they are released into blood circulation so whenever a virus comes on the surface it has got a spike protein and these antibodies will go and bind with it and neutralizes the cell and it will not allow the virus to multiply the other thing see there is an another cell called as antigen presenting cell this will activate a t cell see we have majorly two immune mediators are there b cells and t cells b cells will secrete antibodies whereas t cells they are known as killer t cells they go bind with these spike proteins and kill the cells so this is how they will try to control the viral spread next one now there is something called as why vaccine efficacy so we keep listening this word let us understand what happens with this in order to understand this you need to know how the clinical trials are carried out see whenever a vaccine is being tested human volunteers are selected the volunteers are made into two groups one group is known as placebo group and their one is vaccine group that means they will they will select the volunteers make them into two groups for one of the group no drug is given that is called as placebo they didn't receive any vaccine so they will not give any vaccine to them the other group will get a vaccine shot and they are left into the population and researchers will see how frequently the, they are getting infected now let us say let us take an example of 80% efficacy now the population which do not get any vaccine imagine they all get infected with the virus infection whereas the one which received vaccine imagine out of five only one is get affected that means if you scale it to 100 out of 100 only 20 got affected mean that means 80% did not get affected then that means 80% efficacy so this is what is meant by efficacy is see efficacy is relative risk reduction in vaccinated versus unvaccinated population so this is vaccinated this is unvaccinated what is the relative risk reduction in unvaccinated all of them are infected whereas in vaccinated form 80% are saved from this infection that is what is meant by 80% efficacy so when company says now in order to see why the oxford vaccine says it is only 70 to 90% efficacy and why it is going from 70 to 90 in order to understand this you need to know how the oxford has conducted the trial see oxford the major trial was conducted in brazil and uk group now what happened is so this this has to be given in two doses one and two in the first group in the brazil population a full dose is given after some time another full dose is given what they have seen is the efficacy was only 62% whereas in uk in the first dose they have given half of the dose whereas for the second shot they have given full dose surprisingly the efficacy was 90% so when you combine both the result cumulatively the efficacy is coming around 70% so this is what happened with oxford vaccine now the half dose was an experimental error unfortunately it has happened but the good thing is it has shown very good efficacy this was confirmed by the oxford university itself so this is what is a new york times article which says that the oxford university has admitted with this mistake but that has come out to be a good result now serum institute of india is making the same vaccine now it has proven to have bio equivalent with oxford vaccine that means it has got similar properties and it has shown similar kind of efficacy so today on jan 3 2021 the indian drug controller has approved the restricted emergency use for serum institute of india vaccine as well as bharat biotech one both of them the vaccines got approved the serum institute one is known as covishield whereas the bharat biotech one is known as covaxin till now we have seen serum institute one which is which is collaborated with oxford the covishield one now there is a difference between emergency use authorization and, and restricted emergency use see the pfizer biontech and moderna one 
and Oxford in UK they got emergency use authorization. That means usually in order to complete clinical trials for vaccine it will take at least 10 to 12 years. But we cannot wait till the time because right now we are having a emergency situation called COVID pandemic. In such cases, even though the vaccine is not completed all the year of clinical trials, if it is proven to be safe and effective, then it, it is approved for the use. And that is called as emergency use authorization. Now, in India, we don't have such a class. We have something called as restricted emergency use. And that is what given to these two vaccines. So this is what happened with Indian vaccines. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, this is what is my channel. If you like this video, do subscribe. Thank you.